What's happening everybody? Pure Salvation here, and this is my main Minecraft world. Right here where I'm spawning, where this torch is, is my spawning location. So I built a little mini shelter around it, just in case. So let's get on with the tour. So this has been requested, and don't worry about that, that was one of my traps. This has been requested many times before, and so here it is. Here is my Minecraft world. So here is some of my traps that you might have seen in my trap video that I posted a little while back. So right off this bat, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but right quickly we are going to check out the little sand village I, ba I built a long, long time ago. I was really, really bored and I made little bridges across the roof that connect everything and each one of these houses has like a chest with a different purpose but I'm not going to go too far in detail with that and if you're wondering why this texture is different it's because I have a textured pack and I customized it to be my own and it's not mine I didn't create it I just took a bunch of different ones and I created my own took the best out of everything and created a customized textured pack and I used about maybe four different texture packs that I found off of the forums and I just chose what looked good and put it into this and voila and here's my texture pack now I'm just climbing up this lava geyser that I built as a spire just to track my location and ever if ever I get lost I have another one over there you can sort of see that over there so this is what you kinda can get an idea of what my place looks like during the day. I still have more stuff that way, but not too much. So moving on, we have this little brick house that I built a while back. And keep in mind, guys, I am a garbage builder, so some of these houses kind of looked kind of look bland, like that one over there, my first shelter. I actually decided to really start trying to build things and. I think you might see that reflected in the city, which I will show you guys in a little bit. Everything else like, besides the city was built out of just convenience. I didn't make it try. I didn't try to make it look fancy or whatnot. Here's just a little outhouse or a little hut that I made. That's just outside the Covenant, and you're wondering why there's ice here. That's because I've found a mod that that. Uh, gives me elemental arrows so I can have an ice arrow which turns water into ice but I'll go into that in a little I'll probably do that in a different video so here's the covenant this is the bottom sort of area and that's like sort of the cargo hold if I ever need to run out of space I was intending on putting sails here but I haven't really gotten to it but this is sort of like the covenant which I personally enjoy. Here's a couple of chests where you would, and here's like I guess where the captain's wheel would be or what not or whatnot. And up here is sort of the bow, and you can get a good idea of kind of what you're looking at. Anyways, you're probably wondering what that is. That's also kind of a, a mini sculpture that I made for the city. But I will get into the city later because... And let's go into the very first shelter that I built. I mean, this place is incredible. It's so aesthetically pleasing that I just had to build here. And this is gold, yes. I've got a ton of gold that I don't know what to do with, so I decided to make a little mini chamber with gold and as soon as I get more gold I will make this whole entire room yellow with gold <laughs> and that'll make it look expensive but I haven't gotten that much gold yet as you go up here and turn a little bit right here is just sort of a lookout just to make sure nothing stupid spawns on my roof and if it does I can just have a nice little vantage point just take a nice little couple shots on it and it's nothing there you can do I think I have yeah I have arrows extra arrows and meat in there too for that special purpose 
So here's the roof. I got a, I got a sunroof. Going back inside. And I expanded upwards. This is still part of the time when I was a garbage builder. Just to give myself a better view. And this, this was before all of this was here, so I could see what was coming to kill me. And I think I have more arrows or something in there. But I'm not going to waste time opening up chests, because I have like tr a trillion different chests full of goodies that I don't really need to go to. Here is another lookout. And while we're climbing up this ladder, let me tell you, I have found more diamond than I could ever imagine in this main world. Compared to my YouTube world, and here's just another lookout, just a better view of what's going on. Compared to my, on oh, another level, compared to my YouTube world that I do my Let's Play in, I've gotten maybe 15 diamond in that world. Guess how much I have in this world? I'll probably just tell you. I have over 300 diamond that I've found in this main world that I have right here. And right here is just a nice little bridge. I call it I, I call it the salvation pathway. Or I don't know. I just made that up on the spot, to be honest. And with a little mini checkpoint for you to enjoy the city. And this little bridge overlooking this very steep area this whole entire place will lead to a mini tree house that I've built not doesn't I don't really spend too much time here another outlook still before remember I built the city last so everything you see before the city was had a different sort of feel to it now let's see how should I get out of here okay I know what to do just <laughs> just going up the ladder right here is another way down and yeah that's another trap another trap all shown in my trap video go down these steps and we head on over actually you know what let's go back inside my house I didn't get to show you everything about my house yet so this was definitely my first shelter Got a good start, and yes, the texture pack that I customized also comes with awesome paintings. Here is my chests, not too many furnaces, my incinerator. Go in here, have a mini pool. I uh, here, I just keep this here for trophy wise. I've got like, I got a lot. Let me tell you, I have a lot of diamond blocks. And in here is just a mini bedroom didn't really spend too much time all of this was just you know made within I don't maybe a 30 minute period not very long I didn't spend too much time on it right here I have you have no idea I have found so many resources my map is full and abundant with resources but anyways here this is an iron floor and this is a gold balcony to make sure I don't fall and down here is just my mining checkpoint we go down in here, and, well, this leads into a mining area that I found a ton of iron in. We go over here, and then go down these stairs. This is another checkpoint where I just keep some extraneous material. I'll just show you real quick. Yeah, 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 not too great. Another little mini natural. This is actually completely natural. I just put the cobblestone around. A little mini geyser for lava that I like to throw extraneous stuff. And the beauty where I found my first maybe 20 to 30 diamond is down here. This is the area. <coughs> Whoa, that was weird. My voice was weird for a sec. This level, I have found so much diamond. It is beyond comprehension. I have found... Ooh, gold. And probably didn't even pay attention to that. I have so many resources down here. Yeah, I got caught up in the hype of the diamond and ignored every other resource. I've gotten at least 30 to f maybe even 40 diamond in this whole entire cave level that we have down here. Anyways, I'm not going to spend too much time because that's 
Not the reason why I came here. And going back up. I've I have like 20 different cave systems. I'm not going to go through them all. This was my very first cave system, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. It's where the whole salvations or pure salvations Minecraft expedition began and I tried to make this as cool as possible. And yes, right now it's on peaceful, so I don't kind of get raped by mobs while I'm trying to do this tour guide for you guys. That way leads into another branch of the cave, or my first cave. And it is becoming nighttime. And so you guys you guys might get to see the sort of city. Well, I guess I could show you guys the city now. So pretty much... Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Whatever. So pretty much here's the city. I decided to make a city just to give myself an idea of how I wanted to create my multiplayer server, or the multiplayer server that I'm a part of, sort of give an idea. So, you got your different sort of areas, and this is actually my storage area. Like three levels of storage. Actually, I'll just go up this place. More storage. And then a lookout area, which is pretty nice. And go back outside. I actually had had this built a long time ago. It is a church based on the incredible church built by Tybalt, one of the server fa founding fathers, as I like to say, because he's been there from the start. So this is sort of like my church that I was in, that was inspired by Tybalt's cathedral that he built that was just incredible, so I decided to make a church. And here is just a log cabin with a really cool paintings, because this texture pack comes with incredibly detailed paintings. Well, much more than the other thing. Here is a little mini fountain. Right here is probably my vintage layer that I've been building and building in almost every single multiplayer server that I've been in. Completely created all of these out of my own brain. None of these are copied. All of these buildings you see there are, are see here, are birth children of my brain. Here's just a furnace room and another log cabin with cool paintings. And gosh, I swear I can't stop looking at the paintings and a little mini table made out of half steps and cool stuff like that. This I had no idea what to do with. Cool painting. Two fireplaces. And yes, brick is more orange in this texture pack and it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And that's just the roof. It looks pretty cool, actually. And, yeah, there's a little glass tower, or lookout tower. Right here is definitely a, a birth child of my own. This was, this was a concept that I created all on my own. It is called Minecraft Basketball. This right here is the basketball. And what you do is, of course, you can't dribble, so you just run in. You jump and shoot. Oh, I missed. You jump and shoot, and it goes in, and you score like that. It's very, very fun. I used to, uh, I did this on a multiplayer server, and we had like a two-on-two -two tournament. It was really, really fun. Yeah, so that's Minecraft basketball. Moving on, that's just a little... I built this area while as sort of like a cutoff point for storage. And... This place up here that just overlooked this nice little area. And yeah, my place looks really, really nice at nighttime. It's really well lit. I am paranoid about mob spawning, so I pretty much do overkill. And so I built this area so I could have a cutoff point while I cleared this entire area that 